सो सेल्फ स्टडी गिव्स यू एन एडवांटेज ऑफ हैविंग नो कंस्ट्रेंट्स वाइल यूर स्टार्टिंग और प्रिपेयरिंग इट टोटली डिपेंड्स ऑन यू वट यू वॉन्ट टू स्टडी वेन यू वॉन्ट टू स्टडी एंड वेदर और नॉट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू टेक अ ब्रेक अकॉर्डिंग टू योर फ्लेक्सीबिलिटी योर प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग स्किल्स बिकम बेटर यू बिकम फास्टर इन सॉल्विंग योर प्रॉब्लम्स यू आर एबल टू सी राइट थ्रू द क्वेश्चन योर अप्रोचेज बिकम मोर बेटर यू आर एबल टू ऑप्टिमाइज द सोल्यूशन मोर इजिली सो ऑल दीज इवेंचुअली लीड्स इन टू बेटर रिजल्ट Welcome to Coding in Jars YouTube channel, and this is Ruti. And this video is on importance of self-study for placements. So do watch it till the very end, and also like, share, and comment on this video if you like it, and subscribe to the Coding in Jars YouTube channel. So let's just get into the video. So for the first point, I'll start off with a very basic concept, which is better understanding. So if at all you're learning a concept, maybe from a YouTube tutorial or from a video in your course, or maybe reading any editorial online. Because there are multiple resources available, but that simply doesn't help you remember stuff. See, because there are ample resources available in the internet, but until and unless you yourself try to understand what is happening, you yourself try to remember it with the help of the examples or the visualization that you've created in your own brain of the concept, the perception you have of the concept, concept that you're studying. Until and unless you do that, you're not able to retain in your mind for a longer time. so eventually for better understanding of the concepts it is very essential that you do a proper self study that includes reading learning ample of practice making your notes and lots of stuff that will be talking in the further points so for the second point i'll say no constraint so self study uh, gives you an advantage of having no constraints while you're studying or preparing because it it totally depends on you what you want to study when you want to study and whether or not if you want to take a break according to your flexibility so you don't have to follow a particular schedule or anything you just have to note down all your you no know, concepts or all the things that you need to study prepare a plan and then follow according to adding on to this point there are lots of resources available on the internet or there are lots of road maps available on the internet i'll just say one thing over it that don't follow anything strictly and blindly those road maps are there just to give you on motivation on how you can proceed if you don't know or you feel stuck in between that doesn't mean that you have to get uh, you know feel overwhelmed or feel scared that i haven't done in this order or am am i missing out or am i a slow learner or anything you just have to take motivation from them and just figure out an approach of your own and follow it according to your daily routine so for the next point i'll say that self study gives you the right amount of confidence that you need to ace your coding rounds and coding interviews if you're consistent with your practice if you do questions daily you also realize that after some point of time you are able to do certain questions which you were not able to do just few months back so this consistency gives you some confidence and this confidence eventually leads to you know you showing your full potential when you are in front of the interviewer or you are giving your coding rounds so that is why self study adds on to a lot on this part of you know confidence which is a very major factor if you want to excel your coding interviews or coding rounds so this was for this point so for the next point i'll say creativity so once you're regular with your practice once you're regular with your self study you realize that after some point the solutions that you think become unique and creative from what you see online maybe the uh, editorials or the solutions that you see online or maybe what you have written before if you've done the question already it becomes different and it even becomes much more efficient that is why a regular practice and self study helps you in building your creativity which helps in you know further developing your skills whether it be dsa or any other skill set any other development side that you are working upon so for this point i say you reach better results so when you uh, consistently practice and when you revise your concepts regularly and when you're practicing self study on regular basis so you realize you reach a point where you become better than before your problem solving skills become better you become faster in solving your problems you are able to see right through the question your uh, approaches become more better you are able to optimize the solutions more easily so all these eventually leads into better results 
okay so for the ending note i'll just give one advice that there are ample of resources available online but do not try to get overwhelmed by looking at all the resources and trying to learn everything from each and every resource that you see just pick up one or two resources that you find are feasible to you or that you find that you are able to understand from them better and then continue with it make your own road map make your own whole planning just you know according to your daily routine inculcate different habits and just practice regularly eventually you will be able to see that you're becoming better at whatever you're doing right now so this was it for this video i hope you liked it and if you did please like share and comment on this video also stay safe everyone and take care of your physical and mental health and also subscribe to the coding ninjas youtube channel thank you and have a nice day